Hi, my name is Jason Carlion. I'm the resuscitation manager for Yorkshire Ambulance Service. Tuesday the 18th of October is Restart a Heart Day. As part of Restart a Heart Day, I wanted to demonstrate how to perform CPR. So the first thing you need to do if you find a collapsed patient is make sure that there are no dangers, make sure that it's safe for you to approach and you're not going to put yourself at risk. You then need to check to see if there's any kind of response. So you gently shake the patient, hello, can you hear me? If you don't get a response, the next thing you need to do is to check their airway and check whether they're breathing. In order to do that, you put the palm of one hand on the forehead, fingers of the other hand under the chin, and you gently tilt the head back. The next thing you need to do is put your head next to their mouth and look down the chest, and you listen for up to 10 seconds. And what you're doing is you're listening for any breathing, you'll feel any breathing against your cheek and you're looking for any rise and fall of the chest. If they're not breathing, that's then treat as a cardiac arrest and you need to start CPR. But before you do that, you need to get help on the way. So you need to shout for help and you also need to ring 999. If you're on your own and you're ringing 999, put your phone on speaker and the controller will talk you through how to do CPR. So you need to make sure your patient's on the floor doesn't work on a mattress because the mattress is spring so you need to have them on a hard floor. You find the centre of the chest, generally between the nipple line and the breastbone in the middle. Put the heel of one hand on there, fingers of your other hand on top and you interlock your fingers. Keep your arms straight and use your body weight to rock. You keep doing that until either the ambulance arrives, the patient recovers, or somebody brings a defibrillator alongside. If we can get a defibrillator alongside as well, a public access defibrillator, the patient stands a much better chance of survival. You can't make the situation worse, and that's key to remember that at that point the patient is, is, is basically dead, so you performing CPR will not make the situation worse. The worst that might happen is you might fracture a rib, but that's something that's easily lived with rather than, as I said, ultimately dying. And that's, that's basically how you perform CPR.